most of the photos come in. So why is my tattoo not suitable for surgery? So I'm just going to show that on Instagram. So why is now how's that Instagram? What do you say about that? Hmm? That's what I'm talking about. That is the sort of thing we want, yeah? So why is my tattoo not suitable for surgery? So the two things about tattoos are the size and the location. So a big tattoo in a good location might be suitable for surgery. And a small tattoo in a bad location might not be suitable for surgery. So you can do a big, like, big thing on the tummy because there's loads of spare skin. You can cut it out. Um, so it's size and location. It's not just size. You can't really say a tattoo of this size is suitable or this size is not suitable because it depends on the location. So this is actually a very small tattoo. It's just a little tattoo on the finger. Um, but the location is really bad. The skin on the finger is really there isn't a huge amount of laxity in the skin on the finger. And if we choose to cut anything out of the finger, we would cut it out in an up-down direction. We would give you a scar in an up-down direction so that when you make a fist, you're not pulling that scar apart. You're not putting tension on the scar. Because this is the problem. A lot of things, and particularly on the hand, people often say, oh, I've got loads of spare skin. Look at all this spare skin I've got on my hand. And you're like, yeah, but you've got spare skin on your hand because your hand needs to move. You know, as soon as you make a fist, all that spare skin goes. You know, you've got spare skin there, but you haven't got spare skin there. So you've got, you've got to make a fist. You've got to move. And uh, same with the finger. The finger has to move. So you worry you would take it out in a side-to-side -side direction on, on, the, on the finger if you were choosing to make a scar. So when you have things like tattoos, you can't really choose the orientation of the scar because this tattoo is clearly orientated um, in a sort of horizontal way rather than a longitudinal way and so you would have to make the scar that way and two four problems with that one the laxity is not as much in an up down direction so although it's you might say it's tiny you would really struggle to close that you know you would really struggle to close that that would be really tight uh, and that would be really tight with a hand like that uh, that would be a really tight closure i don't know if you would get it all out there seems to be some letters i don't know if it's a word or if there's some letters which are slightly longer than others and and certainly uh, towards the end there's a there's a sort of l or something and that might not all come out so you might end up with a scar with a bit of ink on either side but the other worry is that scar will be under tension so the worry is that when you make a fist that scar will sort of put, potentially pull open so you'd have to be really careful so you know it's often the case that it's not necessarily not suitable for surgery but surgery wouldn't necessarily be high up on the list of options. And sometimes we do take things out which are not suit well, maybe not suit maybe not not suitable, double knot, maybe suitable. Not not suitable, that's suitable then. Sometimes we take things out that are suitable. No, we always take things out that are suitable. Sometimes we take things out that are not not suitable. Um Anyway, sometimes we take things out that are not suitable, yeah, uh, that may not be suitable for surgery. But I would always say, to be honest, if with all tattoos, I would always say, is anyone there? I lost. <laughs> I would always say laser first. And I'm going to say it for this one, laser first, because this would be really tight, uh, quite uncomfortable, and also um, potential for wound to dehiscence, wound breakdown. So for those reasons, this is not a great uh, example of a tattoo that would be suitable for surgery. I'm, a, I'm sorry to say, and I know that's disappointing to hear, um, but I would go with laser first and see how that goes. Because if laser works, then it's, the, it's, uh, it's usually the best way to do it. So I'm just going to get rid of the, um, right, just gonna get rid of the picture there. Yeah. And um, so... Anna's confused. What are you confused? <laughs> I don't blame you, Anna. Is it about the not not suitable? Don't worry about that. Basically, what I was saying is sometimes you do things which may not be ideal for surgery. If patients have tried laser or are really desperate, you might say, given you know, given all the things I've just said, that it'd be really tight and it might break down. You know, you could cut them out. I think that's what I was trying to say, Anna. But um, do you know what? I put these, I don't know why I put, I don't know why I 
I put myself through this, Anna, because I put these on um, YouTube. Uh, we, we, we chunk them up and put them on YouTube. And honestly, the comments I get really, it really <laughs> you know, terrible waffling, you know, go to three minutes 14 for the answer.